to be race day tomorrow in Oceanside. That's crazy. So we'd be like dropping off our bikes, swimming in the ocean, doing the meeting, all that business. Yeah. So the first scene of Eric riding his bike, he went on this ride like an hour before dinner with his cameras, did no idea what he was doing. I didn't feel like riding, so I stayed home. I was making dinner by myself. I was kind of like, getting annoyed that he wasn't home yet. Get home, dinner's almost ready. I went to bed earlier than him. Next day, he showed me the video of this that, he, that you just saw. And I was like, oh my God, you did that all by yourself in one hour and I was getting mad at you for not being home. <laughs> so from now on, Eric can go and do whatever he wants and I'll just make dinner. Because <laughs> that was amazing. What run are you doing? Whatever Heather's doing. I'm doing, uh, I think she's got some hills or something. So I'm gonna try to hang on to Iron Heather. She's doing 20, so I'll probably like divide that by two and do two, 10. <laughs> Training with Heather has trained my, changed my perspective of what long is. Because three hour ride ain't long. Now it's your little face.
Stop this get fight Stop this get How was it? It was fun, but hard. Like the last round was hard. You were only gonna do two. Yeah, but I was feeling fine. <laughs> nice work. When we did it, we did like we did them on two minutes. Just like go harder. But this was like hard, but recover. What do you think we're gonna do the rest of the day? <laughs> it's only 10, we started so early. We usually don't start until 10. I think we'll go for a swim. I could do without a bike ride today, but I'm assuming everyone's gonna wanna do one. We did a pretty brutal gravel ride yesterday, and it was it was the most intense gravel I've ever been on. It was amazing, but we have no footage because it was impossible to ride while holding crying. a camera, and Paula was crying. <laughs> It was, it was, it was intense. It was the most scared I've maybe ever, I've ever been. It was it. like rocky gravel road, cliff. And we're, we're, this is like the type of gravel with like sharp rocks the size of golf balls. So if you hit them balls. with your bike, you just like swerve and fall off the cliff. And I, it's like this steep, like I walked my bike up. Maybe I can drop in a couple pictures from that or something, but uh, I flatted with, with two lists, I flatted. Yeah, so we're not riding gravel today <laughs> or ever again. <laughs> That was my last gravel ride ever. Too bad we didn't get any footage. <laughs> so we're going for a little sh little swim. I left our bathing suits hanging on the ladder on the back of the van, and we drove away, and they're gone. And the ranger said he saw it on the side of the road at like noon today. So. I was like, was it pink and peach color? Yeah. Yeah, it was the new Zoot Stoat collection. <laughs> I need a new one. <laughs> I don't have an extra suit. I'm going. <laughs> Eric's gonna go freestyle underneath the wetsuit. Well, they just took off without me. No surprise. Nothing new. Pretty much story of every swim in my life with Paula. Except now they're all the way across the lake. I was going to bring this out there, but I'm not really sure how it's going to work. I hope they come back.
forgot I didn't have a suit on. <laughs> Did anybody see that? Probably, I don't know. Maybe. You soak on that. We're supposed to be racing Oceanside right now. Like in transition, setting up our bikes. That's crazy. It's like it hits you and it's like slightly, feels a little more real. Yeah. I think I need a day off. I'm but, sore from this, that run yesterday. Yeah, I was, I was trying to like add up how long it's been since we had a day off. I don't even know. I've just been having too much fun doing random things. All right, we don't have a lot of profound words of um, advice or encouragement or anything. We're just um, doing everything, whatever we can every day and having, trying to have fun with it. And um, hope you guys dig that. Hope you guys liked the whole episode. I feel like the last couple ones have been a little bit indicative of the way that we're feeling and that they don't necessarily have like a, a plan or a storyline or a specific topic that we're covering, but um, that's sort of how we're rolling every day. We're just waking up and being like, what do you want to do today? What sounds fun? Thanks a lot for following along. It means a lot. We'll see you guys next week. Fresh daily.